Hey everybody, it's Chica and Joe. We're gonna show you how to make this adorable Barbie themed cupcake stand. Let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the trays that you're going to use for your cupcake stand. We bought these trays already made. This was a set. We're gonna use a 13 inch and a 14 inch. You can buy something, any wood blank that you have, or you can cut out a circle if you want out of wood, but you definitely need two circles for your cake stand. And then for the pieces that are going to separate the trays, we're gonna to need to cut some pieces out. We've got templates for you to make that really easy on our blog, you can download. We have the shoes, we have the purse, and then we have the sunglasses. So these pieces here, we're gonna cut these out of wood. The wood that I use is this um, extra plywood that I happen to have on hand. It is a half an inch thick. Um, you can use whatever you want. This half an inch thick is important though, because on this template, I've accounted for a half an inch thick here so that the two pieces fit together. So if you don't use half inch thick stock, if you wanna use three quarters or something different, you may need to adjust this slot when you cut so that your two pieces can fit together. So now we're gonna take our patterns and our wood and we're gonna to go to the scroll saw and cut out the pieces. To transfer the patterns onto the wood, I just used a sheet of carbon transfer paper, which I laid out on the wood and then put the pattern on top. Then I just trace the outline with a pen or pencil and it transfers the pattern to the wood. It's super easy. Then it's off to the scroll saw. Uh, this is a fairly new tool in my workshop, but I really love it because it does such an amazing job of cutting really fine details. It's really easy to use and it's quieter and safer than some of the other power saw options. It might seem like a big investment and some of them are quite pricey, but there are actually some starter models in scroll saws that are quite affordable. I'll add some links below to some of my favorites in case you guys are looking into getting one. Isn't that shoe just adorable? I love it. I actually modeled this pattern after a side view photo I found of a real vintage Barbie high heel shoe. So the profile is right on point with the original shoe. You're going to need four of these shoes. So the purse comes in two pieces, one with the slot on the top, one with the slot on the bottom. The slot is a half an inch wide on the pattern. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're not using half inch thick wood, you might need to adjust the width of the slot on your pattern before you cut it. If you have half inch wood, then the pattern should work perfect for you. You'll see here in a second how the two pieces fit together to create a 3D shape that not only looks good, but it will provide the support we need for the cake stand. Oh, and yes, it's on purpose that I cut the top of the handles off in the pattern, so don't worry about it. I did this so that the top of the purse would be totally flat so the tray could fit nicely and flat on top with plenty of support. This would not have been possible if I had had curved handles on top. If you don't have a scroll saw, you can use a jigsaw, which is a much more common tool. You probably have one. Um, you just might not be able to get as perfect of cuts, but it should work fine overall. See how nicely they fit together? Isn't that cool? I love, I just love how it looks. Okay, so all the pieces are cut now. Let's go through what I made. First, the shoes. I made four shoes, all identical. These will be the four legs of the cupcake stand and support the bottom tier. You could do three legs, actually, but I think four will look better and provide better support. So there are our shoes. One, two, three, four. Perfect. For the purse, we cut two pieces, one of each pattern, and there are those slots again, which let the pieces fit together to make a sturdy structure. Lastly, we have the sunglasses that will go on the very top. There are two pieces. One is the sunglasses frame with a stand attached, and the other is the folded arms that will attach to the back. When you put these two pieces together, it makes a 3D look of folded sunglasses. I love it, so cute. Okay, with everything cut, we are ready to paint. I used our favorite spray paint, which is Rust-Oleum's 2X Ultra Cover in gloss. They even have the perfect Barbie color, berry pink. Make sure you spray all the pieces on both sides and on all the edges because the sides are going to show on the finished cupcake stand. Nice even coats is the way to go here. And I actually applied several coats to get a nice smooth glossy finish. I also spray painted the trays with the same type of Rust-Oleum paint, but this time in gloss white. I sprayed each coat in a different direction so that I got smooth even coverage. You don't have to paint the bottoms of these if you don't want to because they won't show, but don't forget the sides. Okay, we have all of our pieces now ready to assemble. We have our two circles that we painted white. We have our four pink shoes that are going to be one of our separators on our cake stand. We have our two purse pieces, which fit together and will make another one of our separators. And then we have the sunglasses that are gonna go on top. So we are ready to assemble. Okay, so now let's get these shoes attached to this bottom tray here. So the first thing we're gonna do on the back, I have found the center and drawn an X here. And then from the center, I came off three inches in each direction. And that is where I'm going to pre-drill my holes. So I'm going to take this, I've got this sitting here on a, a scrap block so I can drill through. I'm gonna put a little hole here. I 
do this on all four sides. All right, so what that lets me do here on the other side, I can see exactly where my holes are. Otherwise, I'm drilling blind down in through here trying to match up to that skinny little shoe. This is gonna make it much easier. So those are set. Now we need to also pre-drill our shoes right here in the middle so that the drill, so that the screw can go down in there easily. So let's just put a nice little hole in the top of each of these. And I'm putting this right in the middle of the shoe, right here, straight down. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put my, my screw through this hole into this pre-drilled hole and line it up perfectly like this um, on all four and we should be good to go. To attach the shoes, I'm starting by drilling a screw into one of the holes on the top, but only just far enough so that I can feel the point sticking out of the bottom. Then I line the shoe up, putting the point of the screw into the pre-drilled hole on the shoe. Then I can tighten the screw and screw it down into the shoe to hold it all together. This is so much easier than trying to just blind screw down into it and not knowing if the thing is underneath or not and how do you get the hole to line up. This works great. As you can see, this first one is really hard to get in with only two hands, so I kind of had to wedge it against my stomach, but I got it. You do what you got to do, right? All right, I got it started and it's in the shoe, so now I just need to turn the shoe to line it up right with my line like that and tighten this screw. It definitely got a little bit easier the more shoes I attached and I had more balance. I really wish Joe had been here to help because I needed some extra hands. Definitely get a friend to help you with this part if you can. All right, I'm finally getting this fourth one on here, which is gonna make it a lot easier because now there's actually enough to hold it balanced while I screw these in. Okay, I've got all four in, they're still loose though. So let's one at a time, straighten these up, get them nice and perfect, and then get that screw in nice and tight all the way down. Okay, there we go. Got all four of them nice and secure. Wonderful, love it. All right, let's move on to the top one. We're gonna do the top one next. So this, we're going to attach the sunglasses here at the top like a handle. So we need to pre-drill here and we need to pre-drill here through the center just like we did before. So this one we're going to actually go from the bottom first because our handle is going to stick out of the top. So to get it started here, put our handle on, get it in that little hole, and then try to hold everything together and finish screwing this in. There we go. There's our little handle. Isn't that cute? All right, so we have the bottom here. And then we have, this is our middle piece, which is our two purse halves that slot together like this. And this can go right here. And if you line it up just right, it will cover the screw holes. Then this is our top piece, which we're gonna put on top. Up here. So let's see what we've got here. There we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, so this is secure here. This is a nice balance. Um, I think probably a little bit of hot glue is all it'll take to hold that, or we could drill some holes, but if we drill holes, then we're gonna have that, we're gonna have to cover up again. So I think that works perfectly. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, attach this with some hot glue. I think that's gonna work out really well for us. So we're just gonna put some of this hot glue here on the bottom. And we will line this up right on these screw holes so that it covers that up nicely. 
Beautiful. Very nice. All right, so that'll hold. So now let's get the top. So this is just going to sit here on top on the middle. So let's just put a little hot glue on these. And then we're just gonna eyeball this and get this centered. So here's what we've got here. The shoes in opposite coming out the angles there, the purse matches that angle, and then the sunglasses square on top. That is adorable and ready for some cupcakes. I almost forgot this piece. This is the other piece of the sunglasses, which goes on the back to make it look like an actual pair of sunglasses, not just this weird mask thing. So we're just gonna attach this with a little bit of hot glue right here on the back, no problem. I'll just put a little bit of glue won't take much, just here, maybe a little in the middle. All right, we'll just put this right here on the back, line it up perfectly. There we go, now it looks like a full pair of sunglasses with the arms. And here it is done, or at least so I thought, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. First, I wanna show you the cupcakes. We got these adorable printable cupcake wrappers on Etsy. We printed them, cut them out, wrapped them around the cupcakes. They're so cute and they match so well. So why isn't this done? Well, when Jo saw it, she loved it, but she said it needed something more. And in just a few minutes time, she made it so much better. First, she painted the edge of the trays black for a nice contrast. Then she added some adhesive silver rhinestones on the sides. She was totally right. This little touch made it so much better. Good job. She even put a few rhinestones on the corners of the sunglasses for a little extra bling. Okay, now it's really done and we both love it. We're all set for our Barbie party. That was such a fun project. Thank you so much for watching. If you make your own Barbie cupcake stand, please let us know in the comments below. We want to hear all about it. And make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new projects coming up. We've got more Barbie stuff coming, lots of fun projects, DIYs and everything. Stay tuned.